Hi, and welcome to Journey to Journeyman, episode number four. And I'd like to first thank the guys who made comments, gave tips, advice. Thank you so much. That's the kind of encouragement that uh, keeps a guy going. Um, today we're going to be making three bushings. These are uh, a couple of bushings that are pressed in, and uh, one that's a sliding fit into these two bushings for my uh, tractor restoration. These are kind of beyond repair, so... Now I get to use my lathe for what I originally intended it for, which is to make parts for my tractor restoration. Also, I was given the advice by several guys, I wish I remember their names, but right now I'm too lazy to go look them up, but they had suggested that I ask for advice on the, the forums and YouTube prior to me starting a project, so I did that. Great advice, guys, great advice. And the order of operations that I was going to initially do I suggested to the guys and they gave me a different uh, order of operations. So let's take a look at our order of operations. Okay, I'm going to be making the three bushings and we're going to have two of the smaller ones that are press fit and then the larger one that's a sliding fit into it. And we'll take a look at the order of operations which is to face the ends, bore the uh, center dimension, we'll turn the outer dimension, part it off, face it to size, and then brag to the ladies. Let's get started on making the bushings. Guys, this is the reason I started my journey to journeyman. I needed to make some bushings for my tractor restoration. So I restored my dad's lathe and went on speedy metals, got some stock and said, hey, it's time to make some bushings. So I got this baby into the four jaw chuck Indicated it in as best I could and I got it to around oh about a half a thousandth and I thought that's probably the Imperfections in that little coating right there. So it's pretty true Well now that it's indicated in It's time to get her faced off Now those of you who are very very perceptive may have noticed there when I was indicating that in that when I turned it one way the reading was a little bit different when I turned it to the other, so I always would turn it toward me. And that will come into play on Journey to Journeyman 5 when I discover something about the spindle. So I took the chuck off, put a dead center in, and got that baby, that boring bar, on center height. And now it's time to do some boring. Now guys, there's very, very little material that needs to come out of here. Basically, I'm just trying to make it uh, a, a true cylinder. Uh, the inside concentric with the outside. So I'm going to just be doing some very, very light passes here. Well, now that the inside is concentric, it's time to work on the outside. And once again, there's going to be just very, very little material taken off on both the inside and the outside because I bought this stock because it was so close to the, the bushing dimension already. So as I start on the outside here, I just want to see what will this baby look like when I polish it up. And since there's only like a few thousands that need to go off of the outside, I give it a quick polish just to see how she'll look and then I'll get to measuring it. Holy cow, she gets as smooth as silk when you take that uh, scotch bright and, uh, and polish on it. It just feels like glass. Now that the outside feels like a mirror, I decided that let's give the inside a shot. So I took some scotch bright, took a little something to hold down in there because I didn't want to stick my finger down that hole and polished it up too. And it felt or it feels like glass in there now. And here's a measurement that I'm going to take and go, well, I need to come off about three thousandths. That's at 1.502. I needed it at 1.499. So I took a a YouTube t trick that I saw guys do where they just take the first you know quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch and dial in their last cut 
And uh, once I cut in, just barely touching it, because that's all it would take off is like a thousand. I measured it, it looked good. So I ran it down there. And now it's time to pull out the, the mic, test the old one, then I'll measure the new one. And lo and behold, I got lucky on this. It was spot on. Now guys, it's time to use the parting tool. Now one of the things I have uh, learned again from YouTube is it has to be square to the work. It has to be dead on center line. And so I did that. Now we're gonna measure up the old bushing on one of them that has a good spot that will show me exactly the length I need to do it. Then I'm gonna scratch it into the, the surface of the new bushing. I made it to where it's about two and a half bushing sizes. So I have a little bit to play with in case I screw up the ends and uh, cut it in there and then we're going to face this or actually uh, part this baby off that is. Now that I can see my line I get that baby lined up and we start our cutting. Uh, well we start our rubbing <laughs> it's not cutting anything it's just scratching so the more I push in boom I stopped the, the headstock um, I didn't give up so once again I stopped the headstock and you see that big wobble in there now that is well that finally stopped me so now I decided I'm gonna try it with a hacksaw but unfortunately that hacksaw blade is probably 20 years old and so now, this is how you really part, guys. You part it off. You just put it on the bandsaw. That's how you part things off. And now I get it indicated back in the forejaw. That's what I was trying not to do. But I uh, got her indicated back into the forejaw. And then I face it down to the length that it's supposed to be. Then I do the same thing to the other one. And then I get two of these because I needed two of these, uh, these bushings that look like this. I'm extremely fortunate to know a master machinist named Marvin from my hometown and he told me to cut a little bit of a lead-in angle and that'll help the pressing in and he was right. Now that the two press-in bushings, the smaller ones are made, time to go with the big boy. And so I cut a piece of stock to length, got her chucked up, indicated in the fore jaw, and time to get her faced off. This once again came as a tip from one of the guys from the forums that told me how to do this. I had planned on using a steady rest, and they're like, with the size of stock, there, you really don't need to do that with the, with the light cuts, and, and they were right. Now that she's center drilled, it's time to start the drilling process so that I can get the hole big enough to get my boring bar down on there. Well guys, I did learn. I know that the bigger the drill bit, you have to slow down the drill speed. So I'm putting it in back gear. And one of the things you'll notice now is I'm gonna stick oil down in there in the back gear and in the spindle gear where it has the oil ports. And you're probably saying, Jaster, how do you know that you need to put oil down in there? Well, this is what happens when you don't. See that bushing is supposed to go up to the edge in that groove? That's because of no oil. So yes, I do know why you put oil in there now. I saved these old 
pieces because someday I am going to repair them. Now it's time to get this baby in back gear and get to cutting on the biggest um, drill bit that I have. Now it's time to do some boring and I did notice it wasn't cutting perfectly like I had it cutting at one time and once again there's some things that are happening that just I'm not catching right now um, and that's that the spindle is slowly getting a little loose and like I said I find that out in the next Journey to Journeyman episode. I find out that this is what's going on right now I just don't know I just know that I have to take extremely light cuts and it's not cutting perfectly but it is cutting nonetheless and I just have to take my time and go over it several times and, and then it finally does cut Now that the inside is done, it's time to look at the outside. And, and believe it or not, there's very, very little uh, metal that needs to come off the outside. Basically like a thousand or so. So I just polished that out of there. You can see my new Preston bushing. And there's the other bushing that's going to slide down in it. Quite happy with how that works out. How it feels. So a little bit of grease in there is going to be perfect. So now I just cut it off and face it to length, and it's done. Well guys, a quick recap on lessons learned. Number one, make sure that you oil your back gear, make sure that your lathe is properly lubricated. Uh, also, be careful out there, uh, observe your safety rules. But uh, the biggest thing is I didn't realize what was going on in this episode until uh, a couple of projects down the road where I figured out that the spindle was loosened up. So I'm assuming that a lot of the stuff was my technique, and some of it is, but some of it was the lathe uh, spindle was coming loose. So if you're hearing vibration coming from the machine and not your work, it's probably time to investigate something coming loose. Thank you very much for watching, and see you on the next Journey to Journeyman.